Hello, Richard. Hello, Malcolm. You've always struck me as a clever person, Richard. What are you going to teach me this afternoon? Yes, thank you for those wonderful words of introduction, Malcolm. <laughs> you know, I, I thought, Malcolm, that um, there are many parents, including myself, who, due to the revolution in mathematics teaching, known as new maths, find themselves in the embarrassing position of not being able to help their children with their arithmetic homework. So I thought we'd have a brief lesson in new maths. Great. Great. So I would like you to consider a very simple subtraction problem. At yes, three, but Richard, I have... I'm sorry, sorry. 342 subtract 173. I haven't got a pen and paper, Richard. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, I We're did keeping try, all the people see, waiting, tried, the broadcasting money. Could you just get on with the sum, please? Thank you. Sorry, Dickie. Could you repeat the question, please? Yes, Malky. 342 subtract 173. Okay. Um, 1 from 4 is 3. 3 from 12 is 9. 1 from 3 is 2. 7 from 13 is 6. 1 from 2 is 1. Uh, 169. Yes, your answer is correct, but your method, to say the least, is slightly muddled. You see, the important... The important things with you, Maths, is to understand what you're doing rather than to get the correct answer. <laughs> Here's how we do it now. You can't take three from two, two is less than three, so you look at the four in the tens place. Now that's fully four tens, you make it three tens, regroup, you change the ten to ten ones, you add them to two and get twelve, take away three and that's nine. Clear? Of course, yes. Now, instead of four in the tens place, you've got three because you added one. That is to say, ten to the two, but you can't take seven from three, so you look in the hundreds place. From the three, you then use one to make ten tens, and you know why. Four plus minus one plus ten is fourteen minus one. Because? Because addition is commutative, right? So now you've got thirteen tens, you take away seven, and that leaves five. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yes, um... Yes, well, six, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but the idea is the important thing. <laughs> now go back to the hundreds place, and you're left with two, and you take away one from two, and that leaves... Uh, one? Exactly! Hooray for new maths, new maths. It won't do me a bit of good to review maths. But it's so simple. So, so very simple. That only a child can do it. <laughs> you follow me, Malcolm? At a distance, Richard, yes. Good, because that's not exactly the answer I had in mind. You see, uh, the book uh, that I got this problem out of wants me to do it in the base of eight. What? <laughs> yes, but don't p -p 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 panic. Don't panic. You see, base eight is just like base ten, really. <laughs> that is if you have two fingers missing. <laughs> Shall we have a go at it? After you. You can't take three from two, two is less than three, so you look at the four in the eighth place. Now that's really four eight, so you make it three eight regroup. You change an eight to eight once and you add them to two. You get one two base eight, which is ten base ten. You take away three, that's seven. With me? Now instead of four in the eighth place, you've got three because you added one. That is to say eight to the two, but you can't take seven from three. So you look at the sixty-fours. Sixty-four? <laughs> yes, well, sixty-four is eight squared. Ask a silly question. Now, from the three, you then use one to make eight, eight, and you add those eight to the three, and you get one three base eight. Or in other words, in base ten, you have eleven. Take away seven, and seven from eleven is four. Now go back to the sixty-fours, and you're left with two, and you take away one from two, and that leaves... Don't rush me, it's a difficult one. Uh, one from two is... Think, man, think. Uh, one? You've got it! I've got the faintest idea what I'm talking about. Hurry for new maths, a new maths. It won't do you a bit of good to review maths. But it's so simple, so, so very simple, that only a child can do it. <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> Richard Loring! Thanks, Richard. We're going to see Richard again later in the programme. And, of course, thanks also to our current musical director of Tom Foolery, Bradley Miller. <laughs> and now we're into week three of our Hunt the Foot Lucky Four-Leaf Clover competition. Why do I have such problems with that title? And